buddies, my name is JackSepticEye, welcome to some random facts about me! I did do a vlog on this before, I think I did it for 300k? 200k? I can't remember, somebody correct me, but I did do something like this before, like the 10 things you might not know about me. So if some of these are the same, I'm sorry, I can't remember what they are. I wanted to make a video like this because, as I say the whole time, I, I really want to get across the fact that I'm just a person. And like all you guys out there, I just happen to like make the videos that you guys watch. But I'm still just a normal human here in my room all the time. I want to try and like be more relatable to everybody. Like, a lot of people don't know what it's like to make gaming content for YouTube, so when you watch the video, it's really hard to connect with the person you're watching or people that you're watching So I like to interject vlogs and videos like this so maybe you guys can relate a bit more Some of you will have the same things, you'll feel the same things, you'll know people who have these things or whatever And some of you might not be able to connect with these at all but hopefully it makes sense Here we go! <laughs> so the intro to all my videos, the top of the morning thing, not the high five But the top of the morning thing was actually inspired by Monica Geller from Friends If you guys remember when Rob had the fake English accent in his classes. Monica put on a, a fake Irish accent and she said, Top of the morning to you laddies! So if you go back and watch the first videos that I did with this intro, I do say it kind of like her because I was kind of, kind of imitating her at, the, at that time. And since then I've kind of like adopted it as my own thing and made it my own. The high five was just a random thing that came out of nowhere. I have asthma! Well, I, I did before. When I was seven, I had an asthma attack. Well, so my mother tells me. I don't know if it's actually true. She told me I had an asthma attack and I had to go to the hospital to get it sorted out. And since then I used to be on two inhalers every morning and night. I can't remember what age I was, but I went to the doctor one time and they said, you know what? Your asthma's gone. So, whoa! I'm not a morning person, even though I desperately, desperately want to be. I said, I think I set six or seven alarms every morning. I have about five of them on my phone, and I've actually have about four on my iPad then as well. And I put my iPad on top of my wardrobe, so and my phone on a desk the far side of the room. So every morning I actually have to get up out of bed, reach up and turn off several alarms, and it still doesn't work. I can't wake up early. But I really want to! Cause you get so much done! I love anything got to do with really good audio. Whether it be movies, games, songs, or anything like that. I love audio because I went to college for audio. I was studying to be a sound engineer for two years and I learned a lot of stuff. You might not be able to tell it from the way my audio comes out in my videos. <laughs> but I try my best, damn it! I really love everything got to do with sugar. I would eat sugary snacks all day, every day if I could. If it didn't make me fat or make my teeth fall out of my head. Which leads me on to the next thing which is that I hate my teeth. Eat. I hate going to the dentist even to fix them, but I still don't take as good care of them as I should And I'm always really embarrassed when I went to meet my girlfriend for the first time She had re she has really nice teeth and I was really like embarrassed about my own And I, I didn't really like smile or anything when I first met her or like talk to her face to face on like Skype or something I should just save up all my money and get my teeth all replaced and I look like Simon Cowell Many of you will know this already, as I said it many, many times, but I hate heights. Anything got to do with height, I feel terrified. And a lot of people will say, Jack, it's not the height you're afraid of, it's the fear of falling. And it's not. If you're afraid of heights, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you see a really great height, your legs just feel weird. They feel like jelly. I can't explain it. I blame my father, because he's afraid of them as well. Not because he's like really tall and he used to like lift me up or anything. I love movies and I really love the cinema experience. I love going to the cinema with friends or anything like that. Even on my own, I've gone to the cinema a good few times on my own just to see movies, just to experience a movie in the cinema. I just love something about it. I love watching movies at home as well. My favorite types of movies are horror movies and then something after that probably like sci-fi or monster movies or anything like that, but I just love movies. It kind of ties into the whole loving really good audio thing as well. I kind of love really good movies too. Hand gestures. I never leave my apartment unless I have to. Unless I have to go buy food and even then I order a lot of my food in. I very rarely leave my apartment. I'm in here all day, every day, sitting down in my chair for like 12 hours a day, just doing YouTube or the internet or games or something. So like if a, a pandemic, like a disease, or zombies or something struck, I'd be safe. That also kind of leads into the next one, which is that I don't talk outside of like doing these videos. <laughs> when I wake up in the mornings, I don't have anybody to talk to. So like, until I go recording, that's the first time my voice is actually used during the day. And that's why sometimes you'll hear it crackle or break or like go all squeaky. And I say I have badgers in my neck, but that's because it's not warmed up. So before I record my videos every day, lately I've had to go and those kind of things to warm up my voice. I love 
technology and gadgets. That's one of the reasons why I built my own computer, because just the thought of it putting it all together, all the electronics, all the shiny components and putting them all in, hitting that button and seeing it all work and all the lights and everything in it, it just, I don't know, I have a technology boner all the time. Like, I love getting new phones, iPads, headphones, sound equipment, cameras, anything at all. I just love them. Despite being Irish and as hard as this might see be to believe, I don't drink that often. I, I mean, I can go out with friends and I'll drink or whatever, but I have an extremely low tolerance for alcohol. I, I don't get sick or anything, but I will be drunk in like one or two drinks because I don't drink that often. So I get drunk really, really fast, but like in my day-to-day -day life, I don't drink very often. No matter what I do in my life, I try to be as positive as I possibly can be. Sometimes that's not possible because sometimes certain things just twist Jack's nipples a little bit too far and I have to just rage at them because I've said it before I really believe that positive energy can be transferred to other people so anybody who's watching if you're pessimistic uh, while you're like doing the videos people watching are gonna be pessimistic as well and they're not gonna have fun so I try to be as happy as I can be and they in turn will transfer it onto other people and everybody will be happy and we'll all have drinks together. Not drinks, I just said I don't drink often. Dinner together. Pizza! When I'm recording my videos, I try to make it so that I appear as as personal, personified as I possibly can be. That people see me as an actual person and a guy just sitting here making videos, playing games, and they don't see it as some really high achieving entertainment or they don't put me on a really high pedestal or anything like that. I try to stay as humble, grounded, and modest as I can be so people can relate to me a lot more and they can enjoy the videos a lot more. And I, I I'd like to think I'm doing a pretty good job at it. It it gets really hard when you get to a certain when the channel gets to a certain like size. It's really hard to get that personal connection across. But that's why I keep doing reading comments, these kind of videos, vlogs, drawing your tweets. I love drinking coffee. I love the taste of it. I love the smell of it. I love the texture of it in my mouth and everything. That sounded weird. But coffee doesn't affect me at all. Some people drink coffee and they get really really hyper. But when I drink it, nothing happens. It's just like drinking tea to me. I used to be a fitness freak. You might not be able to tell it by looking at me, but at one point in my life, I used to have really big muscles for my body shape. I mean, I wasn't Arnold or anything like that, but for the size of my body the way it is, I had a six pack, I had big pecs, I had big arms and everything, I was really lean, and then it just all went to shit. I got sick of going to the gym all the time and lifting weights, and I got really lazy, and then YouTube took over. Now I'm YouTube fat. I find reading books to be boring, even though I really, really, really want to be able to enjoy them. I'm so envious of the people who can can sit down for hours and hours and just read books. Books are such a terrific form of like getting stories across and everything and I have writ read books before and really really enjoyed them but these days I have no attention for them. I must have ADHD or something like that but whenever I read books my mind wanders off to something completely different and I can't focus on what I'm reading anymore and it's led to me not being able to read books anymore. I despise slow electronics. If my phone does not work fast I just want to throw it at the wall. If my computer does and open a file or a, a program fast enough, I will just sit here, tap on my desk. If the internet doesn't work fast enough, I will flip a shit. And lastly, I like rain and thunder and lightning. The sound of rain. Sometimes I listen to Rainy Mood, the website. You just go on and it simulates rain in headphones and I will sit here just listening to it while I browse. But if there's ever a thunder or lightning storm on, I will go to my window and just watch it or listen to it because I love it. It kind of comes back to the whole... I don't know, loving movies and loving really good audio stuff again. Like, if I hear thunder, and I hear how, like, rumbly it is, and how much it shakes everything, and how deep and bassy it is, I don't know, I just love it, and lightning is so cool to look at. But that does it for this video! I hope some of those things were e either interesting, or you didn't know them, or you found it entertaining, or whatever. As I said, I just wanted to do a video like this, because I like just talking to people. I like talking to all of you guys, and just reinforcing that I'm here, I do have flaws, I do- I am weird. I'm very weird. I'm, I'm just like other people. I'm not some really like high profile YouTube thingy. Sorry light. I'm not like a famous person or a celebrity or anything like that. A lot of people keep saying that to me and I don't like that. I'm just a normal guy making videos, playing games. And I really want people to remember that and try and like stay grounded and not float off because it's really easy to get an ego on YouTube. It really, really is. When, uh, when enough people say that you're amazing or you're great or anything like that and some people like bring you down or whatever it's really easy to just ignore haters listen to the good stuff and just wander off in your own ego and float away and never talk to people again so i really want to stay the way i am for as long as i can i don't want any of this stuff to like change the way i am or i like 
I like who I am. I like the way I do YouTube. I like that I can talk to all of you guys and you all see me as like a peer instead of something like much greater than you or anything like that. Even talking about it makes it sound like, oh, he's just doing this for attention. And I hate that. It's it's so hard to talk about these things on YouTube without people getting the wrong idea. If they don't know you, they're going to assume the worst in you. They're going to think you're pompous or pretentious and like... I know a lot of people out there, a lot of YouTubers out there do say these things and they don't mean them at all, they just do it to make themselves look better and then it's even harder for more genuine people to say it properly and sincerely without people thinking the worst in you, so... I don't know, YouTube is a weird space. It's really weird to have so many people think so highly of you. I mean, it's it's fantastic, I'm so appreciative of it. Appreciative of it and I'm so grateful, but at the same time, I don't want people to like go off and worship me or idolize me or anything like that. Literally just a guy playing games for fun, making videos, and hope that people smile and watch them and enjoy them. <laughs> Nothing more. So thank you guys all for being here and for keeping me modest and grounded every day. Reading all your comments and interacting with you all the time is really what's helped me get through such huge sudden growth on the channel. It's it's really overwhelming at times and it's really kind of scary to know who watches your videos. When I think that certain other like big YouTubers watch my videos, it can get really scary and intimidating. So like reading you guys comments and just interacting with you all the time has really helped me just like take it all in and like take it in stride and do it properly. I'm sorry, I just talking about it. It, I, I don't mean to sound cocky or like confident or anything like that. I'm really sorry, but anyway Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, put the like button in the face like a boys and high fives all around Thank you guys, and I will see all your nudes That's me! Um, XABV instead of an Xbox. Can I buy one? I'd like one, please Oh, I didn't mean to! Oh, and we've got the wax! Instead of the Wii. <laughs> okay, so this game. You guys get me, right? You guys know where I'm coming from. You guys don't think I'm a douchebag. <laughs> Please. <laughs>